Hi people, this is I Gotta Forget for Forever Red TV. Uh, today's a new video, it's not no news or else, it's just a special video that I'm gonna do about uh, my favourite ex, my favourite ex players that I've seen personally, in person play and stuff. So, uh, in it, I'm doing top three in each, well, not each position, just doing top three goalkeepers, top three defenders, top three midfielders. And top three strikers, ex Barnsley, not playing now, so I'm not putting more to more Woodrow in now. Um, so these are people I've seen with my own two eyes as well. So if these players they more than likely are bigger legends to the club than what I'm put, but it's just because I have not seen them in person. That's all. And it, yeah, there's a couple of them I have seen in person, but I have not seen enough. I've seen a couple of times, like Dave Watson, Arian Dazoo, and Neil Renfern. I do like his players, and I've watched videos in the past of them, but this is basically on. I'm basing this video on players I've actually seen play myself quite a few times, not players I've seen play one or two times. So it, the mod, they could be on, but I'm just doing it as players who I've seen. Quite a few times play for us, you know. I think the uh, best players, my favourite players of all time. So you won't see them on, and you won't see like Ronnie Glover, Mick McCarthy, or Butler, or Banks on because I'm they were before my time. Well, be around for them, think you want, but I've seen them play a few times. So, well, I don't think I've seen Renfern uh, play once. I think I've seen Dizzo play once, and seen Watson play once as well. And that was first game I ever went to. So. And that's all the times I've ever seen them. So they're not going to go on just because I'm not going to see them play once. And this is just players I've seen basically in person play with my own eyes. Okay. So. So don't hate. No haters. You might agree. And there's a few. One definitely, one definitely on you might not like. But we'll get to it when we get to it. So I'm starting with goalkeepers. And. The first goalkeeper. This is not in any particular order by the way. It's just my favourite favourite goalkeepers. So uh, my favourite goalkeeper I've seen is Heinz Muller. Top top quality strong keeper who I believe went too early. He he had a, a good suit few seasons and then got sold at a time where he would be able to keep decent keepers in past and since. But he could have been, I mean, an absolute legend at Club if he stayed. He could have stayed a lot, lot longer. Went too early for me, but still top, top quality keeper. Next is Luke Steele, who played for us a number of seasons. Made his debut in the famous FA Cup win at Anfield against Liverpool. He was brilliant for year on year, years. And I actually got to meet him in person as well. Had a pint with him. We were at Barnsley when we played uh, Halifax. It was season we got relegated from Championship. The few quite a few years back, he was going to the train station and bumped into a bunch of us outside our pub. Managed to get a picture with him, and talk to him, and love the lad. So and it's another top quality keeper, strong keeper. Uh, he's still playing now, obviously, but he's just not with us, obviously, and that's how he's break it. So as well. But quality, enjoyed him as a pl player, so he's there. Over and he's just left, and I know he, he's not everybody's cup of tea, but he's a lot of people's cup of teas, but you can't go where he's called from last season, that's Adam Davis. I know I could have put possibly put Nick Colgan in there as well, maybe. It was a toss-up between Davis and Colgan, but I think because of the amount, the quality of the season he had last season... He just gets him in the end. I know Colgan was in his goalkeeper when we got up through playoffs against Swansea, but Davis just tipped it for the amount, that, the goddamn amount of clean sheets they had last season as well. Purely that. So he's there because of that for me. So we'll crack on with defenders. Uh, first of all, is Sir Bobby Assel. Absolutely tremendous player. Could play in numbers position centre, right back. He even played in midfield, I think, a few times as well. Uh, I think he he's probably one of the players I've probably seen play most at the club. 
He's probably yes, I've probably seen him play more for the club than any other player, I believe, as well. So, yeah, I believe so. I'm just looking at players now. So I'm probably him and maybe Amel. He's probably, but I'm going to get to him. I'm not going to spoil it, but he's probably one up there I've seen play the most for the club. Uh, absolute legends, still at the club now. He's, and I hope he just gets better. And I hope he does get, even if he does want to go into management, gets the managers maybe. You never know in the future. Or if done, he goes somewhere else and manages. I just hope he does have a really good career. Just Bobby Yassel, because he's a top fella as well. Uh, next is John Stones. I'm pure positive because he was quality. Quality youngster coming through. Obviously, started his career was at right back. But we know where he's gone on to ever since. And stuff. But we're still quality. For, the, for a few times, I saw him play. Well, a few times come quite a few times play for us in under twenty threes as well. Uh was quality. And obviously he's gone on to bigger and better things as well. We Everton, Man City in England. Uh winning Premier League last season. So we are doing tr domestic trouble with Man City last season, so he's probably one of the top players with well, I think he's probably the top talent that's come out of our youth system, to be honest. Uh by the way, if if the only reason I'm leaving this space here is uh, captions. So captions, as you'll see, as you've been watching it, captions will be coming up with the players. Uh, that's why I'm leaving it there. Uh, next is Mark Roberts. It was he was another, and it was a tough one between between him and Malfi Mawson. But I've got to go with Roberts for me. I think we, yeah, I just it would be between him. It was between Alfie, Roberts, Alfie Mawson and Ethan Pinnock with this one. But because Ethan Pinnock's just a bit raw at the moment, he might get in later on because of his quality. But Matt Roberts' quality had a fantastic partnership with him. Mawson left, did the Rob McDonald in, still quality Roberts. I would have him back now, me personally. But I know my fans don't like to talk about, oh, X players, X players, bring X players back. If we had a chance, I'd have him back. But that's just my personal opinion. But I thought it was quality Roberts as well. Uh, for the amount of the games he's played for us, he got us promoted as well. And yeah, he's at Birmingham now. He's not better off. He's, I, if I was, I think he might have dropped a bit. I know his, his wage packet, his bent balance might be a bit better. But his playing career, is he in a better position than he would have been if it was us? Only, only bit he's better off at his... Money wise, that's all. Not footballing wise, not for me anyway. Uh, but still quality. Uh, next, I'm going to crack on with the midfielders. Um, the first midfielder I'm going to talk about is Adam Al. Absolute quality on two spells with the club. First spell, yeah, absolutely brilliant and stuff. Got his move to Wolves. Obviously, it didn't work out with him in several clubs Wolves, Huddersfield, Middlesbrough, Rotherham. Uh, then it didn't work. The grass, like I said, the grass is not always greener on the other side. Came back and we'll turn that season around, personally, because it was just coincidental that he came back and we started winning in the season we got promoted a few years back. So it's not coincidental that and scoring some cracking, scoring two belts at Wembley in one season. JTP Trophy final triumph with that beauty and an even better one against Millwall, which I was fucking dear. Sorry about language. Absolutely gutted I couldn't get to Mill play final. But two crackers at Wembley in one season, You're getting a trophy, getting us up, absolutely brilliant. So he's in there. And the next I'm talking, I'm going to talk about is Brian Howard, who was also a captain as well. At the club he scored some important goals, tidy player. Uh, in, like I said, scored important goals. Scored the option, obviously scored the winner. Scored the winner in the. A famous FA Cup winner against Liverpool. Uh, tremendous player. Uh, top lad as well. You can't really say much more about him, really. To be perfectly honest, he's just an awful lot. Very quality player. They're all quality players. I'm not going to pick bad players anyway. But it was just a shame that when he left, he had to go where he went to. But he's, well, we're going to talk about that later on as well. Uh, so we're next in, we'll crack on with his... Arguably, probably... My favourite player over the last few years left is now playing in Premier League is now Connor 
Uran. Captain Marvel, it was called him, but absolutely brilliant. Um, he just got better and better with us, came from Plymouth. Didn't have the cracking of starts, I don't believe, but he, yesterday, again, just got better and better and better. And then when we started performing, he just got better as well, got us promoted in Championship. That fantastic start we had to the season as well. If only we could have kept that squad together, we might have been, might have been in a different situation now. Well, we're in a good situation now, but it could have been an awful lot better if we kept them. And stuff might have been talking about Premier League football. Or might have been might have been us going up instead of others field. You never know. But he was not fantastic. Goals he scored, some corking goals. Forest away, that corker the lead goal against Leeds. He scored. I oh, knew even before that the two corkers. They don't even talk about. I know it were in a defeat against MK Dons, but the two crackers he scored against them late on. Two decent finishes as well. So he scored some cracking goals in his time. Obviously scoring the goal in the JTP semi-final away at Fleetwood as well. He scored some important goals for us and, and it, as well. So, and then when he got his oh, absolute gutted, he probably most gutting transfer to leave, but it was all in the best wishes because we, he's now playing Premier League football with Villa, which I can't really grumble about. A quality player like him deserves to be playing in Premier League for me. So, that being said, we'll crack on with his next in. Yeah, sorry about that people, I just had to go and pick me little lad up from nursery. Uh, we'll crack on with strikers now. Uh, next in is Paul Hayes. Uh, Scott, he was in obviously part of that championship uh, winning side as well. Uh, this is, like I said, these are all the players I've actually seen in person, so... When it comes to strikers, I did one of my favourite strikers. I've seen plenty of times. It's just I've only seen him a couple of times live, so I've not put him on for that reason. Just a second. Yeah, like I said, the one striker that has he's one of my favourite strikers. But I've only seen him on Sky and I've seen him a few times. Not enough for me to put him on this thing. He's Bruce Dyer. I know he's gonna you're gonna shoot me. And he's, he's a lot better than the strikers I'm gonna be putting on. But this is based on down to players I've seen with my own two I live in person. I've been at the ground. So that's why I've only seen him once, twice. There. So actually, I believe it was once. I think I've only seen him once because when I went, yeah. So I've seen him plenty of times on when we've been on Sky and stuff. So I've just not put him on. Uh, the next thing is a controversial one, and it's Sam Winnell. Uh, yeah, I know a lot of you, but he scored, when we got promoted, he scored some important goals for us. And he was in, in that season, we scored tons of goals as well. And when we were in Championship, he scored tons of goals as well. Until, obviously, how we left. And I'm not saying it's right how you left it, because it's not. It was just absolutely disgusting. But I'm just going with the goals he scored. And... Yeah, there's a goals he scored, and... It was important to, to get us up, especially in that playoff against Walsall, semi final against Walsall, not yet, buddy. Uh, so, in that, with the amount of goals he scored in the two seasons, or three seasons, or so, you know, three and a half seasons, plenty of goals there. So, yeah, it was wrong. And he, obviously, it's gone tits up for him Wednesday, and he's had long spells at Derby. It's gone tits up since leaving us, so more for him. But I'm just going based on the goals he scored and how he played for us, so. That's why the next thing I'm struggling, I'm still struggling now because I'm going to go with, I think, purely based because of the season he had when we got promoted. I'm going to go with Daniel Nardiello. Yeah, you're going to shoot me because you're going to say, I'll put Bruce Dyer in here. If I make an all-time favourite of players I've seen on YouTube clips and live on Sky, but I'm just going, this is basically on me in person seeing in person so that's why I'd pick Daniel Nardiello basically yeah if if I were including current players but I'm not I'd probably had Kiefer Moore in there uh, but I'm not so that's why I'm going I'm going that's why I'm picking it as it is so let me know what you think and let me know what your favourite is. I'm guessing you'll definitely disagree with mine. But these, and you probably, the players I'm not 
seen, you've probably seen and probably have him in. But I can't put him in if I've not seen him play live. So I'm not saying they're not quality. They are total quality, but I'm going basically on players that I've seen in person. I know I'm repeating this in a lot, but that's it. So thank you for the video. Like and, sus like and subscribe to my video. And if you want to catch me on Twitter or me Facebook page, you'll see a bit after. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.